Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillo. I am called to return to continue to speak about transcendental psychology, to offer perspective, just perspective. And so for we, we becoming more discerning, hopefully, or receiving personal guidance from our intuition. And, 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 and it is important to know what is allowed by the Creator, what is allowed for us. But regardless of what other people think, what God allows for us and what is not allowed, there are certain things that are allowed at certain time and not allowed at another time. And there are certain things that are absolutely not allowed and other things that are absolutely allowed. So it is important to, to learn this sense, of, this sense of balance and to know what our soul and spirit wants for us for our fulfillment, regard, regardless for do no harm, but uh, regardless of what other people's perception may be. We're living in a time that is so confused and in doubts. Run to the source, run back to God, just, just, just run with all your energy back to the source. And ask the Creator to, for the Creator has the, for the whole point of this, the manifestation of this, for many people, like many spirits, many uh, groups have very different ideas of why the existence of the universe, why the universe was created. But, but it is the discovery of love, no matter what. The more we ascend, the more we realize that we were separated from infinite eternal love. And so for an experience in time, and so now it's, finding a way to return to that, to, to the acceptation of, of the love of God. For God is neutral, the source is neutral in all, he will allow all things. And he's created a spiritual universe that is so infinitely perfect that it doesn't have to do all that much because there are amazing, perfect spirit that rule over the, each universe and all things. And yet God makes countless miracles each and every day within our life and within the, throughout the whole master universe or grand universe, the, the multiverse. And so, but uh, God will always give, uh, is neutral, but he will give preference to the light right now. For the Kali Yuga, we passed through the time of darkness. The darkness had the upper hand, and so the, those who defended the truth ended up like uh, to, to, to become victim of tyrants and all kinds of things. But it's no longer the time. We ex the, those past 2,000 years, we came out of these years of Pisces, the year of martyrdom, and the year of savior. And now we, we, we moved into the age of Aquarius, which is the time of freedom, self-liberation, and time of the angels, the age of the, of the light. So we, we, uh, right now I'm getting so much more just by closing my eyes and moving into meditation than, than on the other world. I still enjoy movies and entertainment, but I'm getting more entertainment from, from, from my third eye now. It's like, it's amazing. It's like not just education, but entertainment, just wonderful energies. Uh, so just, uh, Archangel Michael was, was giving really important information to have very positive thoughts about money. It is important. We live in a world that's, that's monetarized, as we, we all know, uh, and money is, is, has gained a lot too much importance here, yet it is important to, uh, we're going to be moving from uh, uh, a society that's based on greed and and cupidity to a society that's based on love, wisdom, and abundance for all, with quality of life. This is really what we seek to, for everybody to have it all and to be able to perfect its, its own spiritual education. But to have a positive, educa positive idea about money, a positive attitude about romance, positive thoughts, positive idea about family, positive thoughts about work, and, and for the law of attraction works. And so we, we continue to cultivate this sense that says, I am happy, I am healthy, I am well. I am wise, I am free. So just to continue to cultivate that and feel it the most as possible and, and to, to learn to find a way to make money in a way that's, that's fulfilling our interest and things we love to do. And we're getting there. There is so much that, uh, that will be uh, unfolding, that is unfolding right now. And uh, Spirit was saying that it will soon, we will all soon discover the true meaning of this incarnation, and which is serving the whole, serving the great creator, serving life. For the God does not need anything, but it needs for this evolution to, to pass through this um, the, 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 the consciousness of everything that we encounter. So love is the home base of all that we, we seek to do. And so, uh, for that, I'm receiving messages, so I comment on that, which is funny. And for me, I'm, I say, it's, take it as a humor. And, and there are people that are, that are trying to, to convince me about complex messages that they're so much greater, so much more advanced than I am. And I say, for that, that is my wish for, for all those who listen to my messages, to all humanity to be higher in spiritual frequency than I am, then my mission is fulfilled. There is nothing more to do. There is no competition. There was a philosopher named Friedrich Nietzsche who was saying that uh, there is no, no one more inferior than someone who insists on being equal. 
but someone who insists on being superior has a complex of superiority or inferiority when in the spiritual realm there is no competition there's only one soul and we're growing together so and, and this need for superiority is part of the of the ego base it's the animalistic principles it's it's not it's, it has very little to do with uh, for spiritual hierarchies everybody is at the right place god has placed everybody in the right place to fulfill their function so for in the material world there is there is a we can compare ourselves physical strengths uh, financial strengths uh, abilities or so on but in the spiritual realm is through the eye of clairvoyance we are able to decipher the level of wisdom by the words and attitude and so on and um, and the condition of the uh, karmic condition of the reincarnations of all beings in their level uh, yet yet there, is, there should be no judgment for we all exactly where we need to be and we all here to support for me i'm here to support the whole as much as possible and um and to be honest, I, I feel absolutely no need to compete with anyone. I'm just here to transmute the darkness and support the light. Yet it is, but, but cannot support the, the ego-based, uh, the ego-based uh, judgment of competition. For competition can be useful in sport, for instance, or or in in, in business, or, or even in seduction. Sometimes it can come in. You win some, you lose some, but that's part of the of the process. You learn through the process. I also wanted to say that there are some dark souls that are implicated on the earth right now, human beings that are that are that are sink so low in terms of what they're doing that they will sink into the second dimension. They will return. They have they're gonna have to incarnate in some um, dogs or cats or animals for a while before they return to the, the, the creator allows them to return to the, the their free will choice of being, giving them power because they abuse so much the power. Some will be even return to the first dimension. They will become microbes and they will have to go through billions of years of evolution their memory will be erased and they will have to start the whole process again for it, nothing nothing can be destroyed in the universe everything is transformed but but we do we do not want to um, for for understanding everything is created by a higher self for our spiritual evolution and the evolution of the whole well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I just wanted to, 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 to I, I feel there's great celebrations ahead, this great abundance, this great freedom. It's going to be quite wonderful. Yet it will come as a surprise. So, so it is a, it is a, it is about being in the receptive mode, and eh? very much so. So I thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I thank you for your donations. If you want a private session, you can send me an email. I'm going to finish with a song right now. I've been working on six little boards. It says, uh, I love me and I love you. And it says in the middle, it says love is all. There's one that says I love to love. It's all about love. And this one, this one is pretty nice. I already I kind of like it. I love me and I love you. And in the middle, it says love is all. And this one also, same, same base. And the other paintings are moving forward little by little. I'm really eager. I have so many projects. So I'm going to be very busy in the near future getting ready. So I'm going to finish with this song. It's a song of John Lennon and Yoko Ono. It's, it's, a, it's a Christmas song. It's, it's called The War Is Over. And so this is Christmas. And what have you done? Another year's over. A new one just begun. And so this is Christmas. I hope you have fun, the near and the dear one, the old and the young. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's hope it's a good one without any fears. And so this is Christmas, for weak and for strong, the rich and the poor ones, the road is so long. And so happy Christmas, for black and for white, for yellow and red ones, let's stop all the fight. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's hope it's a good one without any fear. 
And so this is Christmas, and what have you done? Another year's over, a new one just begun. And so happy Christmas, we hope you have fun. The near and the dear one, the old and the young. A very Merry Christmas <coughs> and a Happy New Year. Let's hope it's a good one without any fear. For this, it's like what is coming is so wonderful. We're going to have a sense of, of, of the, the merit of having to, there is a great deal of rewards for all the inner works we've been doing that is coming. But for we, we do what we can. Huh? We do it by, we don't do it to get a reward. We do it because our love cannot stay indifferent when we have the ability to, to assist in a situation. We do it when we are on the spiritual ascension path for all the others are doing what they can with what they know and so so to be, be outside of judgment continue to cultivate this uh, this love of yourself and this love of the others for love is all and uh, and we'll be we we will we'll definitely be in the receptive mode to receive before the end of the year the the blessings of of, of heaven and 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 be ready for a new cycle that will be a uh, Completely different. I thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Have a nice.